I don't think about it. I just breathe naturally what feels natural to me. I woke up extra early, which means I have a little bit of extra time to answer your emails if you've been waiting for a reply uh, for email from me. Thank you for your patience. It's just, uh, it's been about two to three weeks since I've replied. So anyway, thank you. Here we go. Diving into some email action. Oh man. Okay, I think I answered around 50 emails, not too shabby. I'm not quite done yet, so if you're still waiting to hear from me, I apologize. The volume of messages has just gone through the roof, which I appreciate, but it's, uh, it's becoming a little challenging to keep up. Uh, so, thank you for your patience. Okay, we are off to go run. Let's go. Zero degrees last night, zero degrees, it's cold. So I, I get a ton of questions about my breathing as I run. And honestly, I don't think about it. I just breathe naturally what feels natural to me. But as I continue to film my runs more and more, especially with the GoPro, which I'm filming with right now, I think you'll be able to listen. I think the audio is pretty good on the GoPro 7. So you'll be able to listen to my breathing uh, right now, I'm probably going like, I don't know, 7, 50 a mile, maybe 8 minutes a mile. But uh, you could, you'll be able to hear kind of my rhythm and how I like to breathe. Obviously, the faster or slower you're running changes how you breathe. I will say, I don't breathe through my nose. I have no clue how runners do that. No idea. Some people do, I, I think. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Seek beauty. Hey oh man. Look at this park. I'm in Cheeseman Park in Denver. Shout out to all the locals. Woo! And we're done. Oh, that was, oh, it was started off really cold, but turned into a great run. Okay, the looks that I get with the GoPro in downtown Denver are just hilarious and a little crazy sometimes. People just staring at me like, what on earth are you doing? Pointing the camera at yourself as you run. And as you know, all I'm trying to do is spread the love, spread the inspiration to get out there and run. And frankly, I just don't care if people 
stare at me. So anyway, it's just like, I got a lot of weird looks today. A lot of weird looks. I love it. All right, we will see you all at the foam roller. There we go, a little recovery in the house. Now out to the studio, talking about the run today. And yes, never ever just a run. I'll explain what I mean here in a second. But first of all, steezy pace today, uh, just trying to remain patient. Very, very patient. I must say, yesterday on the 13 mile run, I was wanting to go faster, but I held myself back and just chilled out. And the reason is, and let me explain, I wanna make sure I'm being very clear uh, during this early stage of the marathon training block because there was a comment today on Strava after I posted my run there. Uh, here it was. It was basically, um, I forget, I don't know who asked it, but it was, uh, he said, I think he said, when are you going to start doing quality sessions? And I get it. Listen, right now I'm running easy. I'm running steezy. I'm chilling out. And to this gentleman and everyone, the reason my runs are chilling out right now, and I've talked about this already, but I just want to reinforce it, that I'm all about, I'm all about peaking at the right time in the training block. So if I was running, you know, and listen, I would argue, I would argue every run is a quality session. And that connects a little bit to the title of the blog, Just a Run. Okay, well, I'll get to that in a second. But um, every run is a quality run, meaning every run where you go out there and you raise your heart rate, even just a teeny tiny bit, and this gets into, into the discussion about junk miles as well, but even if you raise your heart rate just a little bit, that is a small, teeny tiny, a little, a little aerobic benefit that you are receiving on that day. So even easy days, steezy days, uh, chilling out early in the training block, that is, in my mind, a quality session. Why? Because I'm laying the foundation. I won't repeat myself there. So um, anyway, just wanted to clarify, I'm trying to peak at the right time, which means I don't want to peak in March. I don't want to peak in early April. I want to peak on April 19th in Hamburg, Germany. Arrive at the top of the pyramid at the exact right moment. So that's why I'm going steezy right now. All right, although, although I will say the volume is going up, so that is a very, very good thing. Okay, here's the deal. Never ever, oh yeah, well, what, what did I, did I already mention this? Today's run, eight miles, 7.45 a mile in the Asics Gel Nimbus Light. Love in the shoe, 15 miles in the shoe. I wish I was already at 50 miles so I could give you my full review, but we're just being patient with it. Uh, but yeah, 15 miles thus far in the Asics Gel Nimbus Light. There it is as well over there. So uh, let's see, just a run. What do I mean by that? Um, sometimes I, uh, I take for granted the gift we have as runners. I must say, um, it's a little difficult to get out the door in the winter time. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little antsy for warmer weather. And maybe it's because, I don't know, I'm getting a little older, I don't know, but getting out there in the freezing temperatures, when I started my run today, it was about, I think it was about three degrees in Denver. It warmed up to about 15 by the end of the run. But anyway, it was cold. So uh, I wanna continue to remain present in the moment, grateful that I'm not injured, right? For everyone out there that is injured right now, you know, you would do anything to be 100% healthy or even 95% healthy so you could go put one foot in front of the other. So through these difficult, and I know everyone in the Southern Hemisphere is just loving the summer temperatures uh, uh, down there, enjoy them while you have them, uh, but everyone that is struggling to get out the door in the cold temperatures, when it's dark out, maybe you have a couple niggles and running is not quite as fun right now, just remain present in the moment. And that's what I'm trying to remind myself and like how grateful I am that I can run and I don't have runner's knee. So it's not just another run. Every single run, and I know I'm going on a little bit of a rant here, but I just was reflecting on the run today, going through the streets of Denver, like this is not just another run. We have a gift as runners that sadly, I don't, I, uh, but this is where I remember the blog about 7 billion runners. like. Sadly, not everyone in the world, every single day, has a chance to go out their door. And actually, they do have a chance, but not everyone even is aware of this sport that we call running. Uh, and uh, that's where I have this passion to spread the message of running to as many people as possible, because I do think we have a gift 
in this sport. Why? Remember what I said in that, in that vlog? It's accessible, it's affordable, and it's efficient, okay? Uh, so it's accessible because we can literally leave our front doors and go run and hit the pavement. So anyway, that's my little uh, getting up on my soapbox for a minute on this fine, fine day. But I just was thinking on the, I just was passionate out there and I wanted to communicate all of that with you. Okay, the vlog might be over. I don't know yet. If it's not, I'll probably do another short clip inside the house with the family around dinner time. But uh, I love you. There we go. Whew, it's cold in the studio. I got to go inside. All right, here we go. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Family's actually asleep, so no clips with them. And we love you. Oh, yeah, question of the day. How do you work through those uh, just a run moments where it's just a little difficult to open up that door when it's freezing out and get out for your run? What is the, whether it's a mental strategy or even a practical strategy to get yourself out the door to put one foot in front of the other as we like to do as runners all right love you guys that's it uh boy uh, onward and oh yeah it's freezing in the house we are cold gonna go turn the heat up butter my bread little boston marathon hat and we will see you tomorrow all right we're gonna toss it back on the right to yesterday's vlog which was about oh yeah yes it was about the hoka arahi four we'll toss it back there and then the nike uh, Alpha Fly vlog from about five days ago. That'll be on the left, which is getting more news today. All right, everyone, sleep beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.